right. So on a previous episode, uh, you were remarking what a quality uh, human being Randy Savage was, and I agree. And you had said that he had never been arrested. I've heard a story of an incident in a Waffle House in Nashville. Awesome. I'm glad you brought this up. No, no, I never said I never said he had never been arrested. I said he had seldom been arrested. <laughs> oh, did you see how he, sl- he slipped he was, that word in now? I slipped that in there. No, the, he was a, uh, he was arrested in a Waffle House, I think. Uh, do you know the story or should I tell it? You better tell it and I'll correct you. Supposedly Rip Rogers and Dutch Mantel were there, so I've heard it from both of them. But uh, a gentleman came in that had just been married and he was yelling, he was being loud in the, in the Waffle House saying, I just got married and apparently Randy was hungry and he, he, he didn't want to hear it and he, he piped off to him. And a little argument ensued, and I don't know exactly what happened, but then the police were called, and Randy was apparently held up with a, a, a Waffle House steak knife, and they let the uh, the police dog go on him. And uh, he, he didn't sell for any of the police officers, but he had to sell for the dog. Well, I'll tell you what. Boys and girls, if you're listening, please don't resist arrest. And if you ever have to go to court, don't be held in contempt of court. So um, there comes a time when you should be macho, but when the police are there, leave that macho beast. Just, just let them go. Let them, and you have the right to remain silent. How's that? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What do you think they call me? The genius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite stories. We we actually have that up on ProWrestlingStories.com. And, you know, it goes from the beginning where he just wants to sit down and enjoy his food in peace. And then, you know, this cowboy comes in, he just got married and he's gloating to the staff. I want to know why the guy who just got married was at the Waffle House and not with his bride. The only thing wrong with your story, Eugene, is that um, he was no gentleman. You say a gentleman walked into a Waffle You were You were being nice, but uh, I'm sure it was... One of those rednecks, but uh, I wasn't there. But if I had been there, you can be sure that I would have been under the furniture. Oh, yeah!